السلام عليكم هذه محاضرة من محاضرات أمراض الجهاز التنفسي disease of pulmonary system وإن شاء الله راح نشرح لكم على المحاضرات اللي ما سبق أن شرحناها أيام الدوام ونتمنى لكم موفقية محاضرتنا اليوم هي sleep apnea syndrome What is sleep apnea syndrome? Definition. Sleep apnea syndrome is characterized by a recurrent collapse of the pharyngeal airway and apnea. Apnea means defined as cessation of airflow for more than 10 seconds during sleep followed by arousal from sleep. Also known as Dequeuchian syndrome. Dequeuchian syndrome is another name synonyms to the obstructive sleep apnea. What about the causes or etiology of sleep apnea syndrome? Sleep apnea syndrome occurs when the upper airway narrows because of collapse of the soft tissue of the pharynx when tone and pharyngeal dilators decrease during sleep. So what are the associations with obstructive sleep apnea? Obstructive sleep apnea associated with excessive weight gain, i.e. obesity, associated with smoking, alcohol use, or sedative drugs use. Also associated with enlarged tonsils or adenoids in children, and associated with <coughs> macroglossia, mean big jaw. Also associated with Marfan, Marfan syndromes and cranio facial abnormalities. This is photos show the normal airway. This is the normal airway patency. This is the bluish lines of a row. So the normal width of the airways and patency. On the right side pictures shows the decrease the tones of pharyngeal muscles will lead to the <coughs> obstructions of the upper airway as mentioned in this arrow the bluish one few epidemiological facts about obstructive sleep apnea obstructive sleep apnea is a common disease affects about 5 to 20 percent of men and 2 to 5 percent of women more than 50 years 50, 35 years I mean, the percent is more in the male gender. And the prevalence increase with age. So, what is the history given by the patient of or with patient with obstructive sleep apnea? Patient ca can be complained with excessive daytime sleepless, especially at work or during driving. A refreshing or restless sleep, I mean disturbance sleep, morning headaches or dry mouth, difficulty in concentration, irritability or mood changes, and also the partner reporting snoring, nocturnal apneic episodes or nocturnal choking, as shown in these pictures, that the partner show the snoring <coughs> and other pictures on the right side show the <coughs> disturb of restlessness and irritability and daytime sleep is during the work and or driving. What are the physical signs of patients with obstructive sleep apnea? As I mentioned in the previous slide, macroglossia, large tongue, enlarged tonsils or adenoids in children, long or thick uvula, retro, uh, retro knefia, I mean pulled back jaws. I will show in the uh, next picture. Next circumference, more than 42 cm in males and more than 40 cm in females. 
this is strongly correlated with the presence of the obstructive sleep apnea. Increased body weight, I mean obesity, and hypertension is also common. What are the investigations needed to the patient with obstructive sleep apnea and to confirm the disease of obstructive sleep apnea? The most important thing is <coughs> confirming the <coughs> obstructive sleep apnea. And this is by what is called video recording of the episode. Confirming the episode by what is called video <coughs> recording of the episode. Other tools of investigations, what is called sleep study. And this is managed by sleep study center, socialized center, which is called sleep study centers for polysmonography or diagnostic sleep studies with monitoring of airway flow, monitoring of respiratory efforts, and provided with what is called pulse oximetry and monitoring of the heart rate. This is called sleep study. So the first is video recording of episode, second sleep study. Other investigation is the blood investigations, and this is consist of uh, especially thyroid function test, what ABG, which is called arterial blood gas. This is a packed full jaw of this child. This is clear on the photos D on the right side. This cartoon shows the common physical findings and common signs and symptoms of patient, as I mentioned in the previous slide, of obstructive sleep apnea. This is very clear. This is adenatia, obesity, etc. How to manage patient with obstructive sleep apnea? We have medical management and surgical management. Regarding medical management, the case is divided into mild moderate and severe. What about the mild cases? Advice on steep position, steep on the side rather than on the back. Advise the patient to sleep on the side rather than on the back. Weight reducing policies, I mean weight loss, cessation of the smoking, avoidance of alcohol, avoidance of sedative drugs, and late night meals. This is very important advice to the patient with mild cases of obstructive sleep apnea. <clears throat> what about moderate cases? Moderate cases managed by mandibular advancement siblings, by using certain siblings to make the upper airway patent. How to manage severe cases? <clears throat> severe cases managed by what is called nasal or face mask CPAP. CPAP abbreviation of what is called continuous positive airway pressure. That's used positive pressure to maintain patency of upper airway and to prevent their closure. This is cartoons, shows the pictures of a CPAP device, and how wears by the patient, which is clear on the pictures, on the uh, pictures on the right side. This is the pictures of the CPAP, and this is the picture of the patient who wear the, this advice, this advice. Other aspect of treatment, as I mentioned, surgical aspect of the treatment. And this is by what is called minimally invasive surgery for alternative treatment. And this includes what is called radio frequency surgery by using high frequency electrical currents and is applied to the soft palate, the tongue, and or the tonsil. Other minimal invasive surgery, which is called soft palate implants, is another method where cylinders of polyesters yarn are inserted into the soft palate. Other type of surgical is called more invasive surgical. <coughs> And this is uh, discussed by uh, surgeons. 
and uh, on the surgical aspect of the treatment. <clears throat> and these include, as I mentioned, invasive surgery methods for alternative treatment. And this invasive surgery methods include pharyngeal procedures and the details told you by the surgeon, tank-based procedures, about 33%, supraglutic procedures, multi-level surgery, maxillofacial surgery, and last, tracheostomy. In severe cases, surgery used in severe cases with variable surgery, example, removal of nasal polyps, correction of deviated nasal septum, or lastly, what is called uvulopalatopharyngeoplasty, uvulopalatopharyngeoplasty. What about complications of obstructive sleep apnea? Patients with obstructive sleep apnea are prone to the high blood pressure, elevation of blood pressure means hypertension, are subject to the cardiac problems, abnormal heart rhythms, heart blocks, and heart failure. Obstructive sleep apnea might <coughs> suffer from memory problems and inability to think correctly. Also, obstructive sleep apnea patients are prone to the stroke, cerebrovascular accident, and increase insulin resistance even in non-diabetic patients because of, I mentioned, obesity, the risk factor, and the risk factor for diabetes. Other problems, which is a public health problem, is increased traffic and workplace accident. Increased traffic and <coughs> workplace accident. Lastly, this is a video which is show or abbreviate what is I told. You can't open this. Thank you very much.